While there's not much to see yet at the NFL Combine, there is certainly plenty to be heard. Colts general manager Chris Ballard knows his team will be largely in the middle of much conversation in the coming weeks. I don't know if it's any different than any other year. I mean, I think there's good players. Um, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I think everybody's going to see each guy for see the strengths and weaknesses of what they see and what how they fit their team. The focus shines largely on the Colts' search for a new franchise quarterback, holding the number four pick in the draft. They could move up, but Ballard does not seem sold on needing to. To move up, you there's got to be a guy worthy of it. Okay, I know everybody in the in America is going to say, like this is what's great right now. Everybody has just automatically stamped that you've got to move up to one to get it right. I, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't. And but that's going to be the narrative, and that's okay. Y'all got to write something. You got to keep the news flowing. So, but I don't necessarily know if that's the I don't know if that's the the right course of business. If when we meet as a staff and we say, okay, this is what we need to do. This is the guy for the next 10 to 15 years, and we think he's the right guy. Sure, we'll do it. But who's to say we won't get one at four? A handful of great options for QB, then several very good ones. This weekend's work on the field could play a big role in the Colts' decision-making process. I think as we work through this, you know, each guy's got special qualities, okay? And is there a separating factor that within their play that you think, okay, there's no doubt this guy fits what we want to do um, and he's worthy of moving up for. I'm not ready to say that yet. I'm not ready to say that there's that one that stood out. And we've done a lot of work, but I want to get our coaches take. We want to work through it. I think it's the obsession. Some of these guys, like, you got to love it. You got to be obsessed with it. You got to be first one in, last one to leave. Like these guys in Philly know. I mean, Jalen was in there at freaking six o'clock. He'd be in there till 9 30. And I'm like, that's what it looks like. Like, you want to play in this league for a long time and be successful, like, you got to have that mindset every single day that I'm going to give it everything I got and be the best I can. Players will be on the field here starting on Friday, including the quarterbacks, and potentially one of them could be wearing a horseshoe come the 2023 season. We'll know a lot more about that in the span of the next seven weeks.